Solving a linear programming problem could be a tedious process sometimes. Just keep rolling through numbers on paper could take a long time, especially if the problem in front of you is a complex problem. We had the solution for you. You can now use Excel Solver in order to do a linear programming optimization. You just write down your main uh, problem model and writing down your constraints, then you're good to go. You're ready to create your Excel model that can solve the problem for you in a, in a moment or it can solve the problem for you in a few seconds. First thing you want to do, make sure that you have the Excel Solver activated. You can do that by going to File, Options, then you go to Add Ends, and you find where is your um, Excel Solver. Solver Add-in is right here. Click on Go, and make sure you tick on Solver Add-in, then you click OK. By doing that, if you go to Data tab, then you can find your solver right here. But before we do that, let's do a few steps to be able to solve our problem. So we have a problem, real life problem, that we translated it into a mathematical form as we learned in the past. So in this problem we have minimize the z to equal 6x plus 7y or we saw different form, forms before you can represent the x as x1 and the y as x2 same concept then the constraints for this problem you have the 2x plus 6y larger or equal to 10 and you have 5x plus 3y larger or equal to 10 and x and y are positive values what we do first we create a line for variables we write down variable x and y then here we write the coefficients what number are present for x and y for now we don't know what's x and y that's what we're trying to to decide by finding the maximization of z let's put x as 0 and y as 0 for the z if we go back here to the uh, model equation that we created based on the problem we can see that z equals 6 multiplied by x plus 7 multiplied by y here in terms of excel equations we can click on the box right here that represents z start with the equal sign so the z equals 6 multiplied by x multiplied by x that's where the value of x will be plus 7 multiplied by the value of y then you hit enter now the value of z is 0 that's the equation representing the box beside the z value then we have constraints constraint number 1 2 multiplied by x plus 6 multiplied by y so we have here 2 multiplied by uh, x and 6 multiplied by y. For constraint number 2 we have 5 multiplied by x and 3 multiplied by y. What we're going to do, we're going to find the summation of 2 multiplied by x plus 6 multiplied by y and put it in this box to make our life easy and the Excel solution problem easier. Start with the equal sign. So, equal V2 multiplied by the value of X factor of Y multiplied by Y itself. So, we had 2X plus 6Y higher or equal to 10. Then we do the same thing here. Start with the equal sign. You have the 5 multiplied by the value of x so we have here the 5 multiplied by the value of x plus 3 multiplied uh, by the value of y hit enter now you're ready to go for your solver go to data tab click on solver 
what you're gonna do first you set the objective that's the Z value In this case it's this box then you want to minimize by changing the variables which are the coefficients of X or the values of X and Y so we highlight X and Y then you start to add uh, your constraints I already added them before we can redo that now so you add so the value of 0 or let's say the value of the constraint number 1 which is 2x plus 6y should be higher or equal to 10 that's the first one then you add another constraint the value of constraint number 2 the left hand side of that constraint higher or equal to the right hand side which is 10 and hit OK now we have an option make unconstrained variables non-negative you can do that if you're if if your problem having any negative values then make sure you uncheck that then you choose your solving method we are going with the simplex linear programming method now you are ready to hit solve and find your maximized value of Z hit solve then you keep the solver solution or you can choose the restore the original values hit OK so now your maximization or your minimization problem is saying that at point X of 1.25 and point Y of 1.25 which is the optimal solution as you remember before that's the optimal point at that point the Z value the minimum Z value that you can get is equal to 16.25 and in this way you solve your minimization linear programming problem in no time using Excel Solver.